Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and copping any bricks off our you desire, my rock may be flip. It's easy, you never trip, get them early, you never miss no bot. But if they hot, make it to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey yo, what's good, George? Your boy, Bobby Sneaker World, and I am back with another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to get straight into it today, man. There ain't no plan around and Trying not to ramble as much in this video, man. I want to get straight into this box. Just, it can, actually came in a couple days ago, but I missed the package. So I wasn't able to obviously to get it until Monday when uh, my office opened. So, um, order these out of New York City, man. And a lot of people are asleep. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. See, but that's why I love the people that come to my channel to check out my videos. Because I don't, everything's not going to be... <sighs> Everything's not gonna be retro Jordans. Everything's not gonna be the newest Air Max. Everything's not gonna be Yeezys. Sometimes you gotta come see the Ralph Sampsons. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get into these uh, Puma Chinatown, whatever they're called. Y'all know what the the Ralph Sampson lows, man. We're gonna get into these, and y'all know I'm gonna do it on foot in these. I don't know why people are asleep. I know a lot of people don't wear Puma and a lot of people don't, you know, whatever. But you have to diversify your sneaker portfolio. You have to, man. And I y'all know I'm like I said, I'm gonna do the on foot. I'm a, I like the way I'm doing my own feet now. Like sometimes it's just the, the sneaker only. But you gotta be able to put a fit together. And that's what I realized a lot from, you know what I'm saying, a lot of my sneaker uh head comrades. They can't always, they don't, they're not the best dressers. They'll spend a ton of money on their sneakers, but they don't, you don't even have to, you don't have to invest a bunch of money into your wardrobe to look fly. You just don't like, but you have to know how to put it together. And I don't, I don't, I don't see it sometimes, man. There's a few of them. A lot of the people that I'm subscribed to know how to put it together. And I, I respect that and I love that. But it makes no sense to buy a whole bunch of sneakers and your sneakers are fly, and your fit is trash. But that's just me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, like I said, I'm gonna try to stop rambling. If you're new around here, and that big button down below is still real, you're doing it all wrong, make sure that button is great. Come over here and join the movement. We're trying to get to 5,000 supporters on the channel by the end of this year, 2019. And I only can do it with the support of my supporters. So tell a friend to tell a friend to come join Bobby Sneaker World, man. We almost at uh 2000 subscribers the goal is to hit that by the end of next month so we're moving man we're moving we're climbing steadily um but i'm doing that with y'all support man and i love it man so let's crack into this box and then let's do this on foot all right y'all we was gonna try to do that review outside but i was the i'm i refuse to try to fight through that heat no, I'm good. So the way that heat index is set up and the way this melanin is was absorbing them rays, no thanks. So we just gonna crack into this box right in here in the house. We just gonna keep that same energy, it really don't matter. We in the house, we outside the house. It really does not matter. You guys still get to see the sneakers and I get to stay in the AC. Receipt on deck, like I said, these came in from New York and now they're here at the house. So let's go over the box a little bit first. Obviously, you can see you got your Chinatown Market branding on the left side of the box, all white on one side, all checkerboard, black and yellow on the other. And the size label reads, size 11, R. Samson Low, Chinatown Market, right there. And that's enough beating around the bush because I'm just as excited to see these as you guys are. Okay, right off rip. You see that you have some spare Puma logos, the Velcro. You got a the checkerboard black and yellow here. You got an all white. Ooh. Yes, sir. We'll just take out one for now. Okay, this is all over the place. Let me tuck this in here. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, so now we can see what all the ooh, all the fuss is about 
Now, when I first saw these a few months ago or a couple months ago, I did not know that this logo was removable. I just saw, you see how this comes over the white outsole a little bit there? I just thought that was abstract and different. I thought that was dope. Um, and that's what drew me to the sneaker, period. You got your Ralph Sampson embossed on the uh, lateral side there with the Chinatown Market label on the outside covering that on the tongue. Oh, you actually have some spare laces here. Spare laces. The spare laces actually say Chinatown Market on the laces themselves and they're through the top lace holes and then you got your traditional black uh laces in there but on the tongue here i'm gonna get this so you can see it you got chinatown market right there on the tongue in yellow but you have a red puma uh embroidered over that you got your yellow puma logo on the back on the outsole you got your majesty cushioning puma on the bottom all white rubberized outsole and obviously the let's see let's see you know what i'm saying let's see how we can finesse these you know what i'm saying because this is fire now you can just have a all black with a white outsole or you know what i'm saying you can get all you can get fancy with it let's see what we can do let's see how we can See if we can make Ralph proud. You know what I'm saying? You got your black and white colorway now. This is worth the price. I think, this, what did they come to? It was only like $110 or something like that. What was this? $120. $120. I ain't worried about Elmo right now. Uh, $120. And you get two additional. This is like, didn't like Travis Scott's or something like have some joints like that with the removable removable uh swooshes and stuff like that you can do you can freak them however you want to do it i think that i would actually finesse it this way with the black and black and yellow you know what i'm saying get your little wiz khalifa on right there do whatever you want to do with these you feel me you do whatever you want to do you know what i'm saying i mean it's just different man this like I said before, man, I appreciate every single one of y'all to come to my channel because my channel is not just going to be about retro J's all the time. It's not just going to be about Yeezys. It's not just going to be about whatever. You get Pumas, you get Asics, you get anything. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. Um, y'all let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about these joints right here. I think these are simple and they are fire and they are affordable. All three main essentials of being a good sneakerhead, man. Fire, affordable, and essential to your rotation, man. I, I, I diversify my um sneaker portfolio. So on your toe box, you got your like asymmetrical cut, a little different cut on the toe box with your perforations. The leather is nothing crazy. It's just your simple, traditional leather, man. It's a $100 sneaker, man. You're not going to get nothing too crazy, but, you know, it gets the job done. It's durable. You know what I'm saying? On your insole, you got your Chinatown Market. Black insole, yellow Chinatown market branding. Um, very, very dope, man. So I'm not going to spend too much time rambling about this. I'm going to get these laces switched out. I'm going to put the other joints in, and then we're going to do it on foot, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Let's get straight to it.